folks. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a no red ink assignment through Canvas. Now, it's become even simpler and there's a lot of really great features and the best part is it will auto grade. So first I'm going to build in modules. Once I'm in modules, I'm going to hit that plus button and then I am going to make an assignment. I would customize the name and I would make sure that it, it fit the, the description that I'm looking for. And then here I'm going to click no red ink. I'm going to hit that edit pencil. I can add details and instructions here. I can also add resources if I'm sharing a lesson with my students before they complete the no red ink assignment. I can customize the point value. I can make it formative or summative. And then on submission type, I'm going to hit external tool, hit find, and I'm going to scroll down to no red ink. From here, I have a couple of different options. I can continue a unit that I've already built. I can browse the library to find a specific assignment or a specific topic. I can also copy and paste in a link if I'm collaborating with a colleague on some of the units that I'm creating. So I'm going to go to browse library. And again, it gives me the, the options to do practice writing assessments, uh, practice for standardized tests as well. I'm going to start with assessments. Now I can do a diagnostic, I can do a quiz. And so it gives me some of those options. Now, what's really nice is once I select my topic here, and I can select as many topics as I'd like, I'm gonna hit assign. And from here, I'm gonna set all of this important information actually in Canvas. And Canvas will communicate to No Red Ink to align those due dates and all of those important features. I'm gonna select scramble questions. So if I'm doing this in class, students don't have the same question. And I can make this worth as many or have as many questions as I'd like. From there, I'm going to hit return to Canvas. And this is where I'm going to go through my process of deciding how many attempts, making sure I hit sync to Skyward, and then selecting the due date. Once I'm done with that and I hit save and publish, now I can pull this up from the student perspective here. So if I go into student view, I will be able to see that my students will have access to No Red Ink. Their quiz is right here and they'll go through.